So we're on the trek south. We're on a road trip. We're heading to the snow. So for this trip down to the snow, we've decided not to fly and uh, we've driven down. So we've got the BT50. We got up at about two o'clock this morning. We've just gone seven hours south. Seven hours gets you to John's River, which is where we are now. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it the whole way to Jindabyne, which is the plan uh, as a base for the snow but um, we'll probably make it down to somewhere near Sydney at least. How's the car ride going for you, bud? Good! Good? Yeah. Good, found a playground. Who's looking forward to the snow? Are you looking forward to seeing the snow? Yeah. Brought along the little cooker. Boil up a little bit of water in there. Won't take too long at all. And we got the classic old Meadoring. Bloody two minute noodles for the tribe. Thanks, you guys are set up in here, eh? You got your tables, you got your movie, ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I'll bring your noodles around, bud. Ready? Happy? Yeah. Video's not sponsored by me, Gorang, but me, Gorang, if you're listening, send us some free noodles. Trip. Just smashing a couple of pies in there and they are mint. So if you want a good pie, these guys. We made it a long way, so the girls have done um, about 13 hours in the car today, so that's brilliant. Alright, well we didn't make it the whole way to Jindabyne, but we're only going to pull up about two and a half, three hours short. The room was only 160 bucks for the night, two bedrooms, and it's bloody flawless. I'm not going to show you inside. We're going to have a couple of tins and uh, crash out for the night. See you tomorrow. Right, we're already breathing frost. <laughs> anyway, it's about zero degrees, but we're heading to hopefully Perisha Valley today.
we pulled up at the ski hire shop on the way in. You can see it there behind you. It's called Rhythm Snow Sports, and they're a lot cheaper for ski gear hire there. We're not skiing, so we've just picked up two toboggan boards. Hire them down here because it's heaps cheaper than up on the mountain. Those toboggan boards are 30 bucks each for four days. And we just got to go to the snow. Oh, we're one, point it out, we're one hour from the snow. And Dad, we're low, and Summer haven't been to the snow. Alright, see ya, bye. Bye. Is your face covered in snow or what? Yeah, I'm big. I'm Show me. Oh my <laughs> god. Too much fun. day up on the mountain has been a success we spent about four or five hours it's nearly half past five so the car park starting to clear out behind me there's bloody heaps of parks left the mountains looking an absolute treat the bloody bt50s finally touched the snow we've had a couple of tins already the girls are still up on the mountain it's bloody fantastic the sun's going down got a big moon over here just coming up over the hill I can see we're going to be here till dark. Anyway, we need to go to Jindabyne and check into the accommodation, but it's bloody magic. Excuse me, how am I supposed to get you kids off this mountain tonight? I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, shit, Summer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. Come on. 
Come on, Jack. That was so fast. Yes, and I'm, I'm, I'm a pizza. That was so fast, buddy. Lucky they got out of your way or you would have cleaned them up. Good job, bud. Yeah. All right, let's go home, mate. Well, we've just gone for a buffet breakfast at the um, the station. Uh, we got into accommodation pretty late last night. It was dark. We're having too much fun on the mountain, but we're uh, just gearing up now to go back up and um, might check out another site at Perisher. Uh, there's a place called Smiggins Hole, which is also quite a questionable name. talking a bit of smack that I can't aim a, uh, a snowball. So let's see how she goes with this one. What? Excuse me, Willow. What? I got something for you. underestimated how much you have to dress your kids you dress them up in like layers and layers and they're all warm and as soon as you go inside they want to peel them all off and then when you want to go back outside you got to put them back on and then they peel them off and you put them back on you get and getting hot and cold don't you and when it's night time it gets super cold yeah at when last night the sun, the sun was starting to go down and it was starting to get cold anyway we're at Smiggins Holes having a hot chocolate <laughs> Taking the kids to the snow for the first time. It's hard work. The, I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm tired. It's it's hard work. And then I need to poo, and that's a lot of layers. I, I need to poo is a shit time. ended the second day on the snow with a bit of fun on the field. We've had some snow fights, we've been tobogganing, had a beer and a milkshake, Kirstie's had a coffee. It's been a, it's been a tough hard day in the snow but it's still super fun and we do it again. Anyway we're going to go back to our accommodation a little bit earlier tonight so we can um, settle in and uh, see what they got for dinner. It's our last day of the snow today, isn't it, bud? We're and heading we're over. Walking. We're walking. We're heading over for the buffet breakfast, but it's bloody foggy out, isn't it? It's foggy. It's a bit cold today, isn't it? It's actually really cold. Really cold. You looking forward to a buffet breakfast, Summer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. It's really foggy. 
It's really foggy. I can't even and it's Kirsty's bloody favourite because I never ever want to go out for breakfast and she loves a buffet, so. Can you not say that? This is for Kirsty. <laughs> We're already at Threadbow, so we're gonna go and have a look and see what's at Threadbow. We'll show you around. How you going, Summer? Good? Yeah. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Good. Right, I'll show you around what it's like. You wanna punch it? There's a nice little play area here for the kids. Um, got a note that you can't toboggan at Threadbow, so that's something to keep in mind. It's more of a village feel at Threadbow, where Perisher just seems to be like get in and ski, where he has lots of accommodation and shops and stuff like that. But it is raining, which is another element, but um, oh, if you go to the snow and you come home dry, you're bloody lucky or you're not doing it right. All right, there's definitely no competition on who builds a better snowman, but here's Kirsty. <laughs> Looking brilliant. And this is mine. Look at this mean fella. So, uh, we're off to Perisher Valley. Yeah! I've got all the donuts. The donuts are secured. <laughs> Look at this! Bloody donut and a hot chocolate. Hey. Donut and a hot. Oh, where's your donut? Hey. Oh, it's So a little bit of advice for coming to the snow. My first advice is keep everything on you secured in zip up pockets. We've lost a credit card, we've lost a driver's license and I've lost our car keys. We've managed to get all of them back, but holy shit, the worst three things to lose, keep it secure in your pockets. Plenty of snacks in the car. And spare clothes for when they get wet. Uh, when they yeah, get you need wet. spare clothes because they they can still get wet and cold and, and you might have to change their underneath clothes. Exactly. Now we're just going to be sad because it's four o'clock on our last afternoon and we've got to say goodbye to the snow. It's bloody ice so that everything this morning it's minus five. Kids are in the car. Just pulled off the highway into a place called Toronto. It's been about an hour here, get some lunch, get the kids an ice cream, stretch the legs and see if we can't make it to maybe Coffs Harbour or something like that on the way back up. drive and we're staying near Coffs Harbour so we'll show you that one maybe tomorrow say bye Hi. Pacific Bay <laughs> Resort anyway I'll show you the room I think we've got a good one for tonight we've driven we've been in the car for 14 hours so This 
place was 190 bucks for the night. And I'll tell you a little tip, um, when I'm staying in a room, I have a look at the price on booking.com and then I actually ring the place direct and tell them that I really want to support them and not booking.com and uh, would they match the price and she was more than happy to do that and said that um, because I rang up and booked direct they upgraded us um, the room and made it even cheaper so bloody win-win. Anyway we're going to settle in for the night and cook up some steaks and have a few beers. And checked out of our room. I've locked the keys in the room anyway. It's past 10 o'clock, but we're just gonna keep on using the old facility. So off to the pool and spa. I'll give you a, a look and show you what it looks like before we uh, head off um, on our road trip back home. Kids have never been at the farm. It's a good restaurant and uh, heaps of animals here. We haven't been here for years though, so um, let's go check it out. You pumped about it? Hello. We gonna see some stuff? Oh, hold on. Go and give it a five. Give it a, give it a five. Punch it. This is our last stop for this road trip. We're on our way home in a half an hour and we should be home at about seven o'clock tonight. So I'll see you later. All right, that's the end of our video. It's been such a rad time coming down to the snowy mountains. Such an adventure for us, a spontaneous adventure that was kind of last minute. You can do it. You don't have to have anything booked in or planned. We did it all off our cuff rang up for accommodation, just see how far you can drive before you need to stop. But it's been an awesome time. So hopefully I've given you a little bit of information about what it's like to drive from uh, Queensland down to the snowy snowy mountains, Perisher and Threadbow. Um, we've, had, we've had an awesome time, I keep saying it. But uh, if you liked the video, please give it the thumbs up. If you subscribe to the channel, it helps me so much. It's free and easy to do. So um, hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you on our next holiday. I think our next holiday might be uh, a farm stay actually in the caravan, which will be a bit different to this. So thanks for watching, appreciate it. Send help, I've got three and a half hours in the car to go. I think I've done about 40 hours driving this week. You went past.